Ask Shrimpola. That's me! I, I think green is good on you. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Huh? Oh, well, hello there. Welcome to Ask Shrimpola, where I, Shrimpola, answer all of your questions about Jesus and the Bible. Mr. Steve is learning by watching me. That's right, Shrimpola. And today's questions are about God's special family, the Israelites. Why did the Egyptians make God's people work as slaves? Were God people said that they had to stay in Egypt? Well, I did a drawing to answer those ingenious questions. God's special family had special powers. They could fly like birds and had muscles so big their shirts ripped open. Which uh, happens to me sometimes. Wait, wait. You can fly? <laughs> Mr. Steve, shrimps cannot fly. I was talking about my biceps, which I am uh, flexing right now. Mm hmm. You might have a little problem with ripping shirts from Pola, and the key word there is might. But the Israelites didn't have superpowers. Really? Then why did the Egyptians want them to stay so badly? Well, the Bible says that a new king became ruler of Egypt while the Israelites were living there. And he saw how many of them there were, that he got worried that they would take over his country someday. So he became a huge bully and forced them to work all the time as slaves. He made them lay bricks, he made them work in the fields, and they had to do really hard work. And if the Israelites finished, the Egyptians forced them to do even more work. And on top of that, they had no place to call home. The Israelites were stuck in Egypt. What? How could God let his special family get stuck in Egypt working as slaves? Don't worry, Shrimpola. When God saw that his people were hurting, he came up with a really cool rescue plan. But that's another story for another day. Mm, sounds to me like it would be a better story for today. <laughs> anyway, but let me see if I am understanding what I am understanding. Egypt's new king treated God's special family badly, and this made them sad. But God saw their sadness and planned a huge rescue to save them. Exactly. Well, that is all we have time for today. But this story is to be continued. Mr. Steve, with all the hard work God's family did, I imagine I am right about their big muscles. Well, I guess that's possible, Shrimpola. I say we settle this with an arm wrestling match. 